Good kitten internet. <laughs> anyway, hi, we're outside. Welcome to scenic Madison, Wisconsin. I am in Madison. I'm just, this is a prairie restoration area. It's actually a former uh, landfill that exploded back in the 60s, apparently. Uh, anyway, uh, it's time for my catch up video. See, lake. I've recorded a few videos over by that lake. It's actually where we're walking. Um, let's see, other things. Well, let me take off the hood. I'm using the uh, noise amplification feature of the headphones. Basically, so I have earmuffs. It's not exactly warm outside. It's seven degrees centigrade, if I remember right. It's not cold, but it's not exactly warm. Anyway, summary of Might Magic stuff and QA and so on. So, at the point of the game that we're in right now, uh, um, hey, me from the future, the poor sap who's editing this, um, go ahead and put up a map on the screen. Uh, let me zoom out. Not really zoomed out, I'm just moving my arm around. Go ahead and put the map on the, my left side, my right side, whatever the blank spot is. So, we've actually explored most of the game at this point. So we've completely cleared out New Sarpical. We have cleared out Silver Cove. We've cleared out Castle Iron Fist. Well, we haven't quite cleared out Silver Cove. There's no dungeons left of Silver Cove. I was just too lazy to actually go after the gargoyles. Because they're annoying. Um, we've completely cleared out New Sarpical. We've completely cleared out Bootleg, er, Castle Iron Fist. We've completely cleared out Bootleg Bay. We have cleared out, um, uh, let's see, Freehaven. We've completely cleared out Blackshire. We haven't killed everything, but close enough. Um, we have completely cleared out, we haven't cleared out Mire of the Damned, but screw that place. Um, there's still a dungeon remaining, and we will have to go there. Uh, we have completely cleared out, I really like this. It's a pretty lake pond, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have completely cleared out... Oh... The problem with walking and talking is I'm not very good at it. Um, let's see... I'm picturing the map in my head, my apologies. Even the ducks are laughing at my video. Um, let's see, we have... We have um, visited... Dry, uh, Dragon Sand. We've visited Creek Spire. There's two dungeons left in Creek Spire. Um, the Cave of the Dragon Riders and Castle Creek Spire. Uh, Castle Darkmoor is the one that's left in Mire of the Damned, for reference. Uh, there's a dungeon in Dragon Sand that we won't be able to enter until we're done with the current set of quests. And we have briefly entered and then ran the hell away of Paradise Valley. So, the three zones all the way on the left those are the ones that we're going to need to go to soon. We don't have to go right now, but one of them has a quest we're required to do. Uh, speaking of quests, we have picked up every side quest of the game at this point. Um, there are none left. So we've got the second Druid promotion quest. Uh, we've got the side quest I need to go to zones that I'm not in yet, or a dungeon that I need to go to anyway. We've got the four crystal quests. After the four crystal quests, we have to, um, by the way, it's fall. Leaf fall, don't go boom. Um, after the four crystal quests, we have to do, um, Varn for the control cube. And then after control cube, we've got Ritual of the Void and the Hive. And that's it. Those are all the quests left in the game. So, by percentage of quest-wise, we're pretty much done with the game at this point. Uh... Video-wise, well, the castles are fairly large dungeons. They're not huge, but they're fairly large. They may take one to two videos. Varn is going to be by far the longest dungeon, because it's the largest dungeon in the game. Uh, let's see, there's... So yeah, video-wise, I'm guessing minimum 10 for sure. I'm gonna guess 15 remaining. We'll find out. Uh, so we're definitely over halfway through the videos at this point. We're by far over halfway through the game. It's just most people have... Most times when you go through the game, you still have some side quests left. 
I'm doing this very much methodical. So, I have more side quests than normal. Not to mention, I'm not having to kill the same enemies repeatedly. Uh, so that was actually one of the questions. I'm gonna go sit down at this bench over here. That was actually one of the questions, which was, how do I know? Uh, I've got a heavy backpack on because I was not planning on doing this right now. And then the bus decided not to show up, so I'm doing this now. I'm gonna go ahead and move it so you can see a nice pretty picture of the lake. Better than my face. Um, how do I know if... Or, how do I know what the correct level is for an area, or what most people normally do? Um, this is not from any guide or anything like that. This is from me literally spending a decade and a half helping people through the game. Uh, my second major contact online with people, interacting with people, was trying to help people through my Magic 6. So, yeah, we're going really far back in my memory here. Um, most times the game is completed somewhere between levels 75 and 125, depending on your playstyle, how much you're doing, if you're completing every quest, and so on. I'm expecting us to be on the lower end of that scale. My guess would be, I don't know, 90s would be my guess, because we're doing things pretty fast. We're doing every quest in the game, but what we're not doing is repeatedly going through zones. So. Um, zones in the game will reset after a period of time. It's the way the game keeps track of memory and does memory management. Is basically, after a period of time, a zone will reset where all of the items and enemies will respawn. Uh, I fully intend to beat the game before any resets happen. Uh, the earliest reset cycle is six months, which is most of the dungeons in the game. So if we reach July 1st, I could go back into Goblin Watch and have goblins there again. Whereas, um, most overworld maps, at least the city ones, are two years. We're definitely not going to be spending two years on anything. Uh, there's little point to spend two years on anything in this game the way I'm playing. So my guess is unless if I start specifically grinding, which I'll probably end up doing at some point, we're gonna end at the 80s to 90s range. It's a little low level, but we're fine. Power-wise, we're much more powerful than normal. Um, our party is, well, probably about double the power compared to its actual level right now. And the reason for that is that I'm not wasting skill points anywhere near as much as most players. There's a little bit of a waste on our knight when it comes to merchant. I don't actually need 10 ranks of merchant. I probably could have gotten away with eight. But everything else, I've done very efficiently. Whereas most players playing the game will put ranks into disarm trap, identify item, or even, dare I say it, diplomacy. See, even the ducks are laughing at the concept of diplomacy. So, um, yeah, the only reason why I know what level people should be at is from experience. There's no official guide, there's no official anything letting you know that. Uh, let's see, next question. So for new players to Might Magic, what game of the series would I recommend you play? That's a really complicated question. Um, for a frame of reference, there are... 10 main series Might and Magic games. Uh, the 10th one not really being related to the rest at all because it was made by Ubisoft instead of New World Computing. But Might and Magic 1 through 9 were all made by New World Computing. So let's consider that. There's three trilogies. Uh, that would be Might and Magic 1 through 3. Might and Magic 4, 5, and Zine. There's a reason why I'm specifying it that way. And Might and Magic 6, 7, and 8. Might and Magic 9 is an incomplete horrific mess that... I think it's taken fan patches to even make playable. I have not tried playing through it. Maybe I'll give that a shot at some point. Um, and I own all of the Might Magics, but I've actually only played through the 6, 7, and 8 trilogy, the Enroth trilogy. As I found out, Enroth is actually the name of the planet, not the name of the continent. Ugh. Anyway, um, Might Magic 8 is not very beginner friendly, to put it mildly it literally throws you in the middle of a battle at the start. And there's a lot of reasons why I would not recommend that game for a new player. Might Magic 6 is not super noob friendly either, if you've noticed. Uh, the reason why everything looks so easy is because I know where everything's at, I know how to handle things, I know how to fight things. It's easy to me that I remember playing this as a new player and dying repeatedly in New Circle. 
not from me trying to fly and getting fireballed in the face, but like from goblins and bah. So, Might Magic 7 is definitely the most noob-friendly of the trilogy. Uh, the beginning of the game is actually basically a tutorial. Not basically, it is a tutorial. Uh, you get introduced concepts, there's actually a tour guide that gives you information as to how you want to, or gives you tutorial text and so on. It's much better for new players, however, um, if somebody was not watching my series, I would recommend they play Might Magic 6 first, because plot-wise, 6, 7, and 8 are all interconnected. You could probably play 8 and not be as confused, or you could probably play 8 and not be super confused by the plot. Mostly because there isn't a plot, but also because there's only a tangential tie with 6 and 7. You're actually on a completely different continent in a completely different location, and there's only a couple of NPCs in common. Might Magic 7, on the other hand, is tied directly to Might Magic 6. Um, Might Magic 7 basically starts, was it, five years after Might Magic 6? Um, the last video of Might Magic 6, which I'll, well, you'll see when I actually finish the game, ties directly into the first video of Might Magic 7. Uh, the opening sequence, that is. So, ah. so if you've been watching my videos, go ahead and start with Might Magic 7. If you haven't been watching my videos, or if you want to experience it yourself, start with Might Magic 6. And if you want to save some time, go ahead and skip 8. There's not really much to see there. Um, 9 is a horrible abomination of a game. 4 and 5 are really nice from what I've seen. I've watched a Let's Play of it. It's really interesting, but even harder than Might Magic 6, and it's old enough where you're probably going to start having problems playing the game because of how bad the graphics are now. Just look at those ducks. Let me zoom in so you can see them too. Duckies! Who likes the duckies in the pond? I do, I do, I do, a chick a quack quack. There's a lot of duckies around. It's a really nice pond. If it wasn't for the fact that it's fall and thus we don't have sun this season, it'd be a much better looking day. So, um, let's see, some other questions. Unfortunately with this camera, I can't quite tell how long I've been recording. Hopefully it's not too long. Uh, let's see. How am I doing? Was a question that was asked. I am doing terribly. I am super stressed out to the point where my blood pressure is skyrocketed and I'm starting to have vision problems in this eye due to blood pressure. So that's fun. Um, I also haven't played Might Magic 6 in nearly a week now. Uh, so the video that is going up immediately after this one is the only one that I have pre-recorded as the time of this recording. Uh, so today is Saturday, November, uh, whatever the heck today's date is. I would have to look at my phone for that. Decide to stand because the bench is cold. Um, Saturday, November 3rd. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to record a video after this. Mm, let's see, what else was there? What am I going to do after my Magic 6? So, I had made a couple of questions as to what I should do, whether I play a JRPG that's been on my list of things to play for a while, whether I continue on to Might Magic 7, or something completely different. I am leaning toward PC gaming, just because, well, console gaming is more common, and I like the fact that, well, what is it? There's very few videos of people playing through Might Magic 7 compared to videos of people playing through, say, Soikiden 3. Uh, not that there aren't any, just that there's fewer of them. Also, JRPGs are a lot more annoying to watch because they're longer. Uh, it's not like I can save anywhere like I can with Might Magic 6, so I can make the videos one hour long each for Might Magic 6, 7, or 8. Whereas for, um, say, Wild Arms 4, I have to go find a save point, and that's less convenient. So I think I'm going to save the console games for my own playing, and play through something on the PC. Now, whether that's Might Magic 7, uh, whether I go back to Shining Force 2, I, I will go back to Shining Force 2, but I think I'm gonna wait on that until after I finish the Might Magic series. 
Um, six, seven, and eight, I should say. Maybe I'll even try nine. I'll be going in somewhat blind. Uh, yeah, I, I'm open for other PC gaming ideas. It would be kind of interesting for me to record something on my new setup. Uh, I've mentioned this before in the videos, but I have an ultra-wide monitor now. And now I also have a powerful enough video card to be able to do things with said ultra-wide monitor. So, that's nice. Uh, let's see, I think that's really about it. I haven't had that many questions. I've been answering a lot of them in, um, from various viewers, either on social media, whether that be YouTube comments, or Facebook, or Twitter, or IRC. Um, yeah. Oh, um, somebody was asking, when am I going to start running out of money again? Um, basically what it is is that training costs money, and it's getting progressively more expensive to level up. Uh, my last level up, which was a fairly large level up, it was 15 levels, still cost me 150,000 gold pieces. Uh, it gets exponentially large. So at some point I will have seven digits of money and spend probably mid six digits on leveling up. Uh, but now that I'm looking at how we're leveling and what's left in the game, there's actually a decent chance I'm not going to run out of money anymore. <sighs> the gods know I don't exactly need to buy anything at this point. Um, hmm. What else do I got? How are my cats doing? My cats are doing pretty well. Isun's been a little lethargic in the past couple of days. He goes through cycles of this. Um, I think it's he feels like he's attention deprived. It's the only thing that I've noticed in common is that he'll start feeling lethargic if he's not out and about as much as the other cats. For like a day. Anyway, I've, I've brought him to the vet before and asked and he's been fine. Um, it's really about it. Uh, the reason why I'm going out and about is I was returning one of my monitor mounts. I've mentioned in the videos I've been buying monitor mounts and none of them have worked correctly. Uh, the one in my backpack uh, worked almost perfect except that the tilt wasn't strong enough for the, how heavy my monitor was. Turns out my monitor was less than 200 grams heavier than the maximum weight limit. So yeah, didn't work. And Amazon has a thing where if you return it to a Amazon store or Amazon pickup drop off location, you don't have to pay for return shipping. So my plan was to go to downtown Madison, drop it off, wander around, get something to eat, then come back. Unfortunately, my bus decided not to show up. <laughs> at all. So I didn't want to go out an hour later because if I went out an hour later then well it's already starting to approach rainy and it's going to be raining for the next three days so yep there's actually even a water spot that was just on the camera or it might be on my viewfinder. No it's on the camera. Anyway I think that's about it. Hope people have been enjoying the videos. Um, I know it doesn't get as many views as, say, whenever I have a hotly contested opinion about computer parts, but, uh, well, I also don't get anywhere near as many flames by doing this, so it's a little bit better for my self-esteem. I am going to shut the camera off soon because I'm approaching a road, and it's not safe to walk, to cross a road while recording a video, so. Enjoy internet, and um, I'll be uploading this video where the next Might Magic video will come out about an hour after this one has. Not that there's any spoils or spoilers in it or anything. Goodbye! Something I forgot to mention. Um, regardless of what I end up playing next, I'm going to be taking a small break after I'm done with Might Magic 6. I don't know how long. Probably gonna break until December would be my guess, depending on how much time I have in between then. Definitely breaking for turkeys, um, because I'm not gonna be home for a week. Uh, but yeah, I wanna take a break so people can actually catch up on the videos. I can tell from the number of views that, yeah, people are usually about five to 10 videos behind. It's almost as though I'm producing an hour long video every day.
anyway, that's all I wanted to chime in with. Bye.